Hey y'all, welcome to Vista Acres. Glad everybody joined us today. Welcome to the Vista Acres Homestead I'm going to give Channel. everybody kind of an update what's going on. Angie and I have been doing a lot. Uh, there will be a lot of videos coming out on what we've been doing. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to move some quail. we got some quail that need to be moved. So we're going to get that done and move them up here and the, put them in a brooder. We had some hatched out in our new incubator. So we'll see how good that incubator is too. See if we see a difference in the hatching numbers. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get them out. I have to be careful because we couldn't find these, imagine that. And uh, we put them in there without the lids. I hope they're all good. Uh, ooh, that, that's dangerous. What? That goose egg right there. Here it's on the edge, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to go over eggs. There's something smelling. You know what? Check goose eggs first thing, won't we? Okay, y'all. Well, it seems like there's a good bit in there. You can see them all. Let's see. There's a bunch didn't hatch, too. They want to leave them in there? Get these out and then bring the eggs back? I don't know. Usually when you do that, there's a bunch that's deformed. Yeah. It's up to you. I don't know. Let's go put these in the brooder. Oh, you're not going to put them right here? No, I'll put my fingers. Right now, we get this thing set up. We gotta get this up for the chicken. Uh, of course, Maggie. She's she's gotta be right in the middle of it. All right, let's see how many we got. There's a few of them in here, ain't there? Mm -hmm. What's well, a little beady beady one? Look at that. That yellow one? No. That's oh, yellow. that other one, yeah. <gasps> I don't know if it'll make it or not. That yellow one, he's having a hard time getting around. Uh-oh, that one's got split foot too, doesn't it? Yeah, that does too. Probably two of them right there that will not make it. That's a little bitty one there, ain't it? Mm -hmm, a little bitty. That's a good one, though. A little bitty one. All right, so, what do you think, Maggie? Well, it is a little bitty one. And they're the same flowers. What kind are they? Those are the ones from the blue eggs. Okay, the yellow ones from the blue eggs too, isn't it? They look good. Uh -huh. All right. Maggie, I... Maggie, stop. She wants to lick them. All right, y'all. We're going to... I guess we could throw these back in there. But... Right, Angie? Yes. It's not a real good hatch break. Maggie, Maggie. stop. Yeah. All right, y'all, let me give you kind of an update about the, the brooder house slash, uh, uh, what do you call it, Angie? Sprout house. Sprout house. Get here in a minute. Uh, we've got uh, these two incubators that we got going. I did a little video last night about setting these up, and uh, they <coughs> incubate. Hopefully, these will have a pretty good hatch rate. We'll see. Um, as you just saw, I'm not too impressed with the uh, big one we bought, but could be the eggs, right, Angie? All uh, right, we got this incubate going, and. Uh, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's done all right. I'm gonna put another cap in here. I'm getting it down to where the uh, humidity's getting better on it. So, uh, yeah, we put the rest of them eggs in. May not have any luck with them, but... <coughs> I tell you what, y'all, let's go to the greenhouse. Let Angie kind of tell you what's going on in there. All right, I've got butternut squash there. They're coming over the here tarp. to the camera. We were going to have a tarp, I mean a tarp sale. <laughs> a, a, uh, 
plant sale tomorrow, so I was trying to get everything out out there, and I think the wind's gonna blow them away. Um, there's a. The, there's the purple tomatillos. Here's the romaine tomatoes. They're uh, a little bit behind the other romaines I've already took out there. Um, here's my jalapeno peppers. And my chocolate, my big chocolate cherries, I've already took them out there. Most of the tomato plants are out there. These that's still in here are small ones. They're, the mint, there's mint right there. And different kinds of tomato plants. And then over here is assorted bell pepper. There are different varieties and colors. Uh, orange, red, yellow, green. And then down there on the end is birdhouse gourds. So you can make birdhouses out of those. These then, Cherokee purples. Yeah, these these right here is just a mixture of stuff that I've laid right there. Going to put it out there with, with the plant sale. And these also, these are, um... That's frog cost all in that. Yeah, I believe it is. I hear it, but I don't see it. And then over here, I've got some that don't look so good. I about let them get too big, but you see they're already blooming. And they're just in a little bitty cups. So I either need to get those out or get those in the cell. These right here, romaine tomatoes, and those are... I don't have much luck with spices. I've tried everything, but that's what that is back there. I've got some that came up, some that don't. These right here are squash. They're just starting to come up. They grow fast. These up here, um, I gotta take those out. These are for the plant sale. Uh, these are the celebration tomatoes. Those turned out really pretty. And these down here are the ones that I'm going to plant. There's one I need to water. Probably a few I need to water, looks like. But those are, I'm going to plant those in my garden. Up here is the pickling cucumbers. And then over here is the burpless cucumbers. And then these right here are the long cucumbers. They grow real, real long. We grew those year before last, and they... Goodness, we had so many we couldn't eat them. We'd give them away and we still had them coming out of our ears. As you see, it's not as full as it was before. I don't know if y'all can see underneath there, but that's the, my cabbage. I gotta get that stuff off of them because it's getting so big. Um, it's my things I got down there smothering it out. And then right here is more bell peppers. That's probably the ones I'm going to plant. And then these right here are zucchinis. These are more birdhouse gourds. And I had a gourd somewhere. I can show them what they look like. I don't know what I did with it. But I did have one somewhere in here. Big David over there hiding behind plants. Yeah. All right, guys. Plant. Up. I can take you out here and show you all the tomato plants. I hope they're still standing. That wind may have knocked them over. I've got to get tables to put them on for tomorrow. Here's stuff that I'm growing out here. Here's elderberry plants. And then these right here are... I forgot the name of these. I need to find out. But they're uh, really expensive if you go to buy them. But they're, I don't know if y'all can see over there behind the greenhouse. It's uh, it comes up every year. Everybody's yeah. kind of watching the channel. And Matt, uh, David's grandmother used to burn them down and then come back thicker every year. That we always kept them contained. Yeah. In yeah, she always. Yeah, she kept them contained. Here's the tomato plants that was in there. I need to. I gotta water these tonight. You see, some of them so big they've outgrew their cups. They're just laying over. Some of them's blooming. And this right here is David's pomegranate. I'm gonna try to uh, propagate it. Try to root some of it and get another one started. We uh, we let the other one die, or it died. We didn't let it die. 
Is that a great, uh, yes. That's made it. Uh huh. Yeah, David's starting to throw that one away, and it's grow to leaf. But here's our musky dimes and grapes. Uh, they're doing real, real good. And then I planted the blackberries. We'll take you down and show you that. Yeah, we'll take you and show you the blackberry bed. Okay, so these this end right here is raspberries. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven raspberry plants. We don't eat a lot of raspberries. Um, <laughs> David likes them, but I'm I, I think it's the texture issue for me. I don't can't get past that fuzz. Uh, then the rest of these down through here are blackberries. Um, I just planted these and then there's another row over there They didn't get washed out by that storm and then these right here you'll see I don't know if y'all can see but they are hanging full all over the plant So we should have plenty of blackberries this year so There they're hanging full And then they come up with the prettiest flower And those trees back there, those are pecan trees. We uh, decided to leave them, let them be. Um, maybe that they'll uh, grow up to be big as this one. We'll never see it, but it's many years old. And Maggie's trying to kill the cat. Grabs everything by the head. Maggie, don't hurt him. I think he likes it. Did the storm get? The storm didn't blow them all off? Oh, we did. Yeah, the storm really took a toll on it. I told that, but I said, I bet we don't have a peach left on the tree. But yeah, we got a few left. Yeah, maybe they won't be wormy. Usually the frost every year gets. They bloom early and then the frost gets. Looks like this one already wormy. Something's getting in it. Guineas are hanging out. So. My fingernails are terrible. I've been gardening, so maybe they'll hang out down here and eat the bugs. Look at this one. It's oh, it's just hanging on by the stuff. It's hanging on that leaf. I was gonna say it's already turned pink. Maybe they get some. What is it? Name oil or fruit? Get that off my hand. I thought it was a pig, but it's not. Yeah, they're over there doing something. I don't know what they're doing. They have a nest over there. Yeah, it's really, it's pretty. Yeah, that one's got stuff come out, sap coming out of it. I bet they found it. And that one does too. Look at that. Uh, sap coming out of the peach. We had a peach tree at our other house. and We, we, never, got, we never got any off of it, did we? Well, we got a couple. We, that's about it. The worms got them every year. Every year. Maggie, There's even some on that one. There is, even some on that one. There is, isn't there? This is the one we almost lost. And it came back. That other one's coming back. But I think we lost that other one. Yeah, we lost it. We got we put a new one there. Yeah, we got one that come up. And then my elderberry project um, <laughs> kind of went south. I think I might have to plant bushes. I planted, I got disgusted because I planted um, the ones that I had rooted. And needless to say, not very many of them live. So um, there's one that lived. That one looks like it's got a little green on it. You can see the grass. If you put a little hole in this stuff, the grass will find its way through. Well, mm -hmm. gardening, 
about wards and way. garden about washed away oh yeah we yeah. the six rows of beans that david planted needless to say they're probably across the driveway yeah the driveway um, yeah. it washed about totally out never had all the years i've lived here i've never seen it do that yeah it, it that storm was awful i had to yeah. stand my tomatoes plants back up in the bed put more dirt around them it rained so hard it rained the, I like to pull my dirt up around the bottom of my tomato plants real thick and uh, it rained so hard it beat it down so I had to and you see some of them's kind of leaning but I tried to fix most of them but these are the raised beds that we've got done so far yeah that we've got done so far this is the project that we're working on at the present time uh, here, of course, I got my squash and tomatoes, and I had tags in these. I don't know. These are Granny Cantrells. Granny Cantrell tomatoes, and I got a little bit, uh, little bloom there. And then these, that's a pet bell pepper. They're uh, oh, giant green bell peppers. Those are. And then these are volunteer plants. I don't. I'm not sure what they are. So I didn't. It looks like some kind of squash. But they're real pretty. And then here's David's zucchini. He wanted me to plant a lot of zucchini. So I uh, planted it and it's, it's doing really good. Look at all the blooms on it, David. It does look good. Ooh, one of them biting flies. It got me on the arm. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I planted onions in with it. Somebody said if you plant onions in with it, that uh, the squash buds won't be as bad so we'll see we're gonna we're gonna see if it works i hope yeah and then here's some more tomatoes oh uh, i'm not sure what kind they are they may be the chocolate cherry no i think the chocolate cherry's up there these might be the pear tomatoes i planted some yellow pear tomatoes and then here's my eggplant and then every year, the flea beetles get them. And I thought, I'll plant them in my onions. And as you see, it's, they still found them. There's holes all in it. They're aggravating. And then I've got my cabbage in there too. I was trying that with the onions. And then over here is some more uh, squash, different kinds of squash I've got. This year I planted spaghetti squash, butternut squash, and some other squashes that I've never grew before. So we'll see how that, how that goes. And then here is my black beauty eggplant. Now they're a little bit more taller, it looks like, than those other eggplants. And here's the chocolate cherry tomatoes. I planted them in with the onions. Here is my, uh, these right here are spider, lemon cucumbers. And they're a cucumber and they do look like a lemon. They're a little round ball like a lemon. It's, um, they're really good on salads or just eat by themselves. I eat them by themselves. And then I planted some hostas at the end. And then the last one that we have done so far, uh, I hope these do okay. They're a little bit in the shade, but more tomato plants. And not sure, a better boys. These are better boy tomato plants. So all these down through here are better boys. I was trying to separate them a little bit, so hopefully they wouldn't cross pollinate and I could save the seeds. We'll see. I don't know if there's probably maybe still too close together, but and then these little things growing right here. These are uh, a campania planted um, with the uh, tomatoes and the radishes, breakfast radishes. So there's like a the long red and white radish. 
and these are more better boys and these right here are beets and i've got a thin nose as you can see they're growing thick in areas so i'll have to come back and thin those and then some more squash at the end looks like it's doing pretty good so maybe if we plant a lot of squash maybe we'll at least get some squash this year before the squash bugs eat it up Alrighty guys, and that over there's the deal. You'll see I planted some more seeds and it's still coming up. So I need to plant some more deal because my granddaughter loves pickles. Gonna make her some pickles. Alrighty, that's it. Alright, let's talk about the birds. Yeah, these are the baby turkeys now getting grown. He's a guy with him and old Tom. But uh, I gotta get their water changed here. I gotta put some vitamins in their water, electrolytes. I tell you, that whole batch of turkeys from last year, I don't know what this is what we did wrong. We had a tough time that batch last year. Uh, but the guineas, they're on, they're on the move. They found that grain I left laying there, finally. Yeah. All right, here's Americanas. There's the wild turkeys. Let me tell you, them, them royal palms are wild. One eyed. There's, there is an egg. We can get that. Try to catch all the turkeys we can. There's old Kane. Kane, what are you doing? Hey, Kane. Go, go, go. There you go. There you go. I don't know if that's turkey calling or not. But. Oh well. All right. Now these are pretty, ain't they? Not the guinea. Uh, and they're doing well. Those are Brahmas. They are some pretty Brahmas. Yeah. We got a grass uh, sweeper, and we uh, mow, just got through mowing, and we sweep all this grass up and put it in the chickens' cages. Makes good compost, and the chickens love it. Maggie, I don't think they need you in there. Come on, Maggie. Maggie. All right. Those, those are, those are what I call regular Brahma. This is the geese. Yeah. And here's Billy Bad. Ain't said he's in the mood. He he's he's got her twice. Maggie ran the hen out. Yeah, here's that hen holler. Maggie, stop! There get your butt in there. He's got you now twice. You think you'd learn. Maggie, stop. All right, here we go. Hand wasn't hurt, thank goodness. Here's the geese. They doing well. This is not gray beard, this is gray beard's offspring. But they're lavender. They're pretty. Maggie, get out. Maggie. They're pretty. Now here's gray beard, as you can tell. He wasn't hurt any. He's still gray beard. He's about to try to get Maggie there. And there is the Isa Browns. They're in doing pretty good. They like that grass too. They do. Maggie, come on. 
Alright, come on. Alright, y'all. Alright, everybody, it kind of wraps it up on the tour update of what's going on on the Vista Cruiser. That's that Vista Cruiser. Alright, y'all. That's kind of a wrap up of everything going on on the Vista Acres. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of you joining us. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you hadn't subscribed, please subscribe. We'd appreciate that. And again, thank you for watching.